Hey my friends, come on in. Today I have a thrift store haul for you, but this one is a special thrift store haul. This is Jude's birthday haul. So if you are kind of unfamiliar with me, you may be like, why is this lady buying her son gifts from Goodwill? Um, couple reasons. First off is that we don't need lots of toys. We have plenty. Um, we try and keep our toys to a minimum um, and only pick out toys that are gonna be um, something that can be used for a while. Like we just, we try and be really intentional with the toys that we have. So um, second of all, these dogs are just enjoying being in the house because they've been outside. But I want to try and purchase as many things as possible that we can um, secondhand. So clothes, toys, you know, things like that that we can reuse instead of them going into a dump or me contributing to um, overproduction of those items by buying new items. So just trying to avoid that. So with that said, this is everything I found um, looking for his birthday. There is one thing that's actually put away in his closet because I got it a couple weeks ago. Um, it, I'll insert a clip right here, but it's this cute little wagon or like push cart kind of thing. It's wooden and it retailed for like $60 and I bought it for $15 on the Facebook marketplace. So that is his first gift that he got. I did buy him one new book. I will also insert a clip of that here. Um, it's one of those little finger puppet books, super cute. But anyway, let's get started with the haul. I just washed all these items, so they are nice and fresh and clean, but I found an amazing, oops, I forgot to clip the tag off, but whatever, I'll still show you. I found this really, really, really cute um, like soft book, crinkle book from Manhattan Toys. So it's called 123 Farmer's Market. Super cute when you lift it up. It's got the little farmer's market people. Um, it Velcros shut. And then it's just a really, really cute book. And then it has like little, you know, interactive things on each page for baby to play with and pull at. He really is enjoying these still. This one has like a little mushroom inside with a rattle. And then the print on the back is so cute. So anyway, I got that for, I don't know, maybe a dollar. It wasn't very much. I think the most I paid for anything was the puzzles, which I'll show those next. I got one of those puzzle racks and one, two, three, four, five, six Melissa and Doug wooden puzzles for like $5. And then I used my Goodwill coupon, so I got them for like $4. Um, I, they make noise and the dogs are a little bit concerned. Um, two of them are the ones that when you like put the right piece onto the right animal, it makes that animal's noise and he is loving it he's having a great time with that um so i got two of those some of like two of the puzzle pieces are missing on those ones which is sad and then the rest of all the puzzles have their own pieces and then this one was actually separate on its own but it was too good to not get i think it was one dollar or two dollars um but these are really fun for him because they have a really easy knob for him to pull onto and it has a giraffe, which is his favorite. So I thought that was really cute and I couldn't leave it. Actually, I was wrong. These are Circo by Target. This one is, but there's like a couple of Melissa and Doug ones, but they're all the wooden ones, which I really like. And they're like the match the shape kind of ones. And then there's like vehicles, farm. Um, what else? Oh, this cute little like zoo animal kind of one. Anyway, lots of really cute puzzles, really good deal. I think it was like five or six dollars total for all of those and the little wire um, puzzle rack. Next I got a couple of balls. This one was 79 cents. There is still a sticker on there. He really, really likes this one because of all the little like nubbies on it. He likes to like chew on them and he's really enjoying this one, especially for 80 cents. Pretty good deal. This one was 99 cents. Has a rattle in it and lots of little tags on it. This is from the Melon brand. And then there was an O-ball football there too. We have another O-ball um, that I got him for Christmas. And 
I like to stuff it with washed wipes and then he can kind of like pull them out and it's a fun game for him. So I may do that with the football and um, the O-ball toys are usually like seven, eight, nine dollars and this was one dollar. Next up are my two favorite finds. Um, if you didn't know, I am Disney at heart, which means that I just am a huge fan of the movies, of just their content in general, but also the parks. So um, I actually picked up this Woody just to look at him. I saw just his little Andy foot sticking out of the shelf and I was like, oh, I think that's a Woody doll. And I, I picked him up and Jude, I was wearing him on my front um, in the little carrier and he immediately was like, ah, 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 like reaching out and so excited. And so I let him hold him while I looked at the rest of the toys and he just became really attached. So for $2, how could I leave him behind? Like. He's so sweet. He's got a cute little tied bandana on him and he's just precious as can be. And we just had to have him. He's super duper cute. He's in really good shape, really, really cute. I also picked up a Judy Hopps doll. I just washed her, but she did come with a little push box. I'll put that back in um, so that you can make her talk, which is just really cute. Two. She was also like a dollar, two dollars, something like that. Um, I couldn't leave her behind. Zootopia is one of my all-time favorite Disney movies, so she had to come home with me. Sorry. She had to come home with me because she's just really, really cute and was in absolute perfect condition. How adorable she is. I love her. Okay, I think that is everything that I picked up. I was so thrilled to find everything that I found. It was a really like a jackpot day. Sometimes you go and you don't find anything, and then sometimes you go and you find like everything. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our haul, and I hope it's inspired you to go to your local Goodwill and see what you can find. Um, all it takes is bringing them home, giving them a little cleanup, a little bit of love, and you've got some items that will be loved and cherished by your kids and not contributing further to um, the kind of wasteful way that we buy things and then just throw them out. So anyway, I don't wanna make you feel like bad if you buy new toys. I have definitely bought him some new toys, but I shop secondhand when I can just to kind of help do my part and I hope you're encouraged to do the same. Have a super happy day and I will see you next time. Bye.